What began with a single $5 figure pickup at G-Fest years ago turned into a collect all the colors, infinity stone type situation, and after decimating the auction sites in my Thanosian quest, we finally have this video. Today on Thirsty Thursday Toys, we're gonna look at every figure variation from the Godzilla 2000 variety set and make a drink based on them that I'm calling the variety due to its tea-like flavor. You'll need sake, tequila, lemon juice, vanilla syrup, and orange bitters. Since the figures use the same molds repeated in a variety of colors, you can present this drink in a variety of colors as well. And for that, you also need red and blue food coloring and silver and gold luster dust. Prep your three shot glasses by adding a drop of red food coloring into one and a drop of blue into another. Add some silver luster dust into both of those and then gold luster dust into the third. In a shaker or glass with ice, start with two ounces of sake. Add in three quarters of an ounce to a full ounce of silver tequila, a quarter to a half an ounce of lemon juice, a half ounce of vanilla syrup, and about three dashes of orange bitters. Shake or stir it together and then strain it into the shot glasses. Stir those all up to make sure the colors combine and give it that nice metallic swirl. Cheers! Or skip the colors and just pour it all in a glass over ice. However you choose to do it, enjoy. Cheers! These are the Godzilla Millennium Variety Sets by Utaka. Each set contains nine figures. Eight of these are previously released figures, and the ninth is a brand new and exclusive Godzilla 2000 figure that I have not seen outside of this set. These figures are almost entirely Heisei characters, with the addition of a Showa Baragon for some reason. Every set contains that Godzilla 2000 and Baragon, along with Fire Rodan, Space Godzilla, Destroya, Mecha Godzilla, Mecha King Ghidorah, and a Heisei Godzilla. Plus, one figure in the middle that varies, either a Mothra, Batra, Batra Larva, or a Ghidorah. At least, those are the only ones I've come across. Please don't tell me if there are others. Each of these figures come in three different colors, red, blue, or gold, but you'll only get one color of each character per set. Over the years, I've purchased these from Mandrake, Toku Toy Town, Etsy, Kaiju Legion, and some auctions. They're out there, but it may take you a while to find them all. Now be advised, almost every single set I've purchased has the plastic bubble either removed from the card entirely or in the process of coming off. The glue seems to have broken down over the past 23 years. Gone. Reduced to atoms. Some have been taped or stapled back on, so don't get your hopes up at finding a perfectly sealed one especially after I opened this one to complete my collection, but now is no time to mourn. For most of these, the figures have all fallen out and are no longer in their original positions in the package. That said, two things that have been consistent in every set that I've purchased, even the open ones, is that the Godzilla 2000 is always in the top middle spot, and the random figure is in the middle middle. Most of the figures require the tail to be popped on, whereas the Baragon is one solid piece. In my years of hunting, it appears that they're distributed pretty randomly, and it's entirely possible that no two sets are alike. In theory, you can complete the collection in as few as three sets, but I've had to track down five or six. I'm crazy enough to do that to get all the base figures, but not crazy enough to go for all the versions of those middle randoms. Now, why did I do this? I don't even like most of these sculpts, but as far as I'm aware, this is the only way to get that Godzilla 2000. I was gonna say, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm afraid to start hunting more of them. Don't succumb to the madness. You don't need every color of every figure. Don't do it. Just think of all the possible permutations of these figures and their colors. It's enough to make your head spin. But if you want to do the math, I mean, yeah, I kind of want to know. But for now, I guess I can finally rest and watch the sunrise. If you do attempt to complete the collection, I wish you the best of luck. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and subscribing, and please drink responsibly.